Sonny C. Kalalal, Yahawa Bosham Yoshai, Bosham Makar Kodosh, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to all the brothers that's pushing this work in our sincerity and in truth. I'm the brother Yahayar from the Jimmy Singh's in Jamaica camp, here with another quick lesson to basically bring forth this truth to the 12 tribes of Israel and basically to the four corners of the earth. You understand the scripture tells you in the book of um, Matthew, Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. It says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So this work that I'm doing right now is a part of the gospel. The word gospel means good news. Understand? Basically, the good news is that the nation of Israel will be saved. Is in, and salvation is only for those people. Is in, salvation is only for the nation of Israel, meaning the elect of the nation of Israel. Those people are going to be the ones that who are, who are going to rule the kingdom which is to come. A lot of people believe that the so-called Chinese is going to be the one to be the next major empire in the earth, right? Or the so-called Russians or so forth. But that's not so. See, the ones who have next in line or next in line for the kingdom, see, which is the governance of the earth, the full governance of the earth, see, is, is the Israelites. Those are the chosen people of the Heavenly Father. All other nations, the Edomites, Zin, the Moabites, the Assyrians, the Jap um, the Amites, Zin, all those other people are going to be in servitude to the nation of Israel. You understand? But there is a special judgment for the nation of Ed Edom. Zin, those are the people uh, um, whom, against whom the Lord has indignation forever. Zin, and after their thousand years of slavery has ended, those people are going to be put to a swift destruction. See, they shall be gathered together and basically burned in fire and eradicated completely. That is the judgment for those people. Understand? Thus said the Lord. So let us get into this and show you that the salvation is only for the nation of Israel. Zin, so I'm kick it off with the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. It says, For thou art an holy people. A separate people. You understand the nation of Israel is a separated people from all other nations. Zin they got a different they have different standards, laws, statutes and judgments. Zin which the Heavenly Father has given them to make them clean and separate from all nations upon the face of the earth. Zin, so far thou art an old people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth the lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because ye were more in number than any people for ye were the fewest of all people but because the lord loved loved you and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers had the lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. So because of the oath which he made, he made with our father Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, understand, that is why he always continues to deliver us from the hands of captivity, from, from those who have us in a position of oppression, understand, and he will do so. And at this time he's going to do so and establish his laws, statutes and covenants, and, and um, laws, statutes and judgments in our hearts, understand. So this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32. Um see verse 9. Is that so? Zin. Alright then. So I'm gonna start at verse 7. So verse 7. It says, Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee thine elders, and they will tell thee. When the Most High divided the nations their inheritance, so all nations on the face of the earth got their inheritance. Understand? So when they before they divided the nations, he basically ordered each one to their inheritance. Zin, the nation of Israel also got their inheritance. So he said, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Right? So the Lord's portion is what? The nation of Israel. Zin, those people are the, are the chosen people of the Heavenly Father. 
him set those people apart and separate from all nations upon the face of the earth. You see, it says he found him in a desert land and in the waste hole in wilderness, he led him about. He instructed him and kept him as the apple of his eye. Seen as an eagle stir, um, stir it up her nest, flutter it over her young, spread it abroad her wings, take it then bear it them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. Right? He made him ride upon the high places of the earth that he might eat the increase of the fields, and he made him to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flint to flint to rock so it does show you that heavenly father is basically the protector of israel zin that's why we call him abba the heavenly father you understand abba noah our father right so he is our father zin in the choice sense zin so he is the god of israel he is the power of israel man and that power is the power that rules the whole entire earth zin so our power is the greatest power and he chose us Zin and because he, he chose us, a scripture in the book of Amos, chapter, let me see, book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1, it says, Hear this word that the Lord God, the Lord, had spoken against you, O children of Israel, right? Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. So he's making specific references, right? Yeah, so it's making specific references. Say, so you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, right? So he's going to punish us for all our iniquities and he has punished us for our iniquities. Understand? And there is going to come a time when he's basically going to give us salvation because salvation is only for the children of Israel. You understand? Because we are the only ones that he knows. Even in the book of um, Psalms, one, um, I think book of Psalms, one, is it this? No, I think it's, Psalms 147. Let me check it out. See? Yeah. Psalms 147 verse verse 18. It says, He sent out his word and and melted them. He caused his wind to blow on the on the waters flew. Flow. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with <coughs> He had not done so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So no other nations know the judgment of the Heavenly Father, man. Zin, and the word is for the for children of Israel. The word of the Heavenly Father is for the children of Israel. Zin. So let's, let's, let's get this. Zin, because as I've said before, the nation of Edom has a special judgment. And for some weird reason, our people would like for the nation of Edom to be a part of the salvation. Thus showing, it, showing it that their, their, their mind is in a state of Stockholm Syndrome, where they have been in the hands of the oppressors for so long that they don't want to leave the hands of the oppressors and they would like the, and they would like the oppressors to obtain salvation, mercy and grace as the rest of us. See? But that's not possible. Understand? The judgment is already set. Zin, the judgment is already set and it's it's basically going to be declared, man. Scripture say, Yo, the heavenly Father word go it out and it shall not return unto him void. It shall accomplish that which it, which it, um that which he will. You understand? So, though 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 everybody wants the nation of um Edom to a lot of people, not everybody, Zin, and those are the ones that are still in the state of Stockholm syndrome, still stuck in the matrix. They are the ones that want Edom to basically get salvation. But they are already pre-programmed to resist the word. See, anyone that has the spirit of Edom in them, that's an Edomite that's of the seed of Esau, those people are pre-programmed to resist the word. So they cannot get it, no matter how they try. And it's in the book of Psalms 58. I'm going to start at 1. It says, Psalms 58 verse 1. 
Do ye indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Zain, sons of men are talking about Edomites and, and basically all other nations them coupled together, but mainly the Edomites. It says, Ye in heart ye work wickedness, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. Who, who is doing that? Zain, who is working wickedness in them art? Which the word heart go back to the Hebrew lab. The, the so called white man, yo, he's the one that is basically going around vaccinating people, going around dropping atomic bombs, going around um, having oil spills in the sea, zine, causing all these mass productions from factory to basically pollute the atmosphere, causing acid rain, which therefore, um, which therefore kills the vegetation upon the land. You understand? Um, there is a chemical that the, the company Syngenta create known as atrazine, which atrazine causes a transmutation of male species. They did the studies on frog, right? And they charge the transmutation of, the, of, of males frogs to female frogs. Zine, that's an abomination. Zine, so who is doing all of these things? Yo? The so-called white man. He's the one that's going around polluting the earth, destroying the vegetation, destroying the crop, destroying the livestock. Zine, destroying the earth in its entirety. And if this man is not removed, Zine, the whole earth will feel it. You understand? So you say, yo, yeah, in heart you work wickedness. He weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. And, this, and the earth is being, being oppressed on a mass level by the so-called white man, yo. It says, wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. You understand? The wicked is estranged from the womb as soon as that little demon pops out of the demon mother's belly, right? They are, they go astray, man, speaking lies. They are wicked. They are wicked from the womb. You see, their conception is in wickedness, yo. If you realize the so-called white man, is his children already know for us gone from an early age, yo. Children, eight, seven years old, um, I learned for us gone. You understand? So think about that. Say their, their, their poison is like the poison of a serpent. Zin, they are like the deaf other that stop it her ear. So this is part of the point. Zin, so even if you decide, say, yo, you're going to teach an Edomite, they are like the deaf other. They cannot hear the word of truth, yo. Zin, they are not programmed to accept the word of truth. Zin, they are only programmed to do wickedly. Despite of all you see them smile and skin teeth with you, yo, yeah, man, they are a wicked and vile set of people. You understand? It says, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. So the voice of charmers are the Israelites, the prophets, them out there speaking the coming forth of the kingdom of, of, of Israel. Though we out there speaking sweetly, um, playing this music, this instrument of prophecy, Zin, so called white man is not able to hear it. Zin, because he is slated for destruction and that judgment is coming on, on down from I. Zin, we no have no control over this. So, whoever in a them feelings, Zin, the scripture tell us, say, yo, though unjoined in and the wicked shall not go unpunished. So, the Edomites, them, are going to get the punish whether you like it or not. Zin, and if you were wise, you would see that this judgment is fitting because of what they did to our forefathers, man. Zin, what they did to our forefathers, this need to be recompensed. Zin, there needs to be vengeance for this. Zin, for all that they did to our, our ancestors. Zin, the scripture tells us say, yo, them further the affliction. They further the affliction of our people, man. Zin, them, 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 them basically, um, Use babies to an alligator bait. Hey Amen. They did so much atrocities to our people, yo. It's unimaginable. Right? So, so the scripture continues and say, Break their teeth, O God, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the of the young lions, O Lord. So break their power. The teeth is a representation of their power. See, and right now the so-called white man is is one of the most um devastating creatures upon the earth. This man 
builds thermonuclear weapons. See, this man studied to, to split the atoms. It's, um, one of them even said that he has become the destroyer of worlds, man. Zin, because of the devastating destructive powers that they have basically strived to attain. Right? So the Heavenly Father is going to break that power, yo. That's why we're waiting on our power. It says, let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bent his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces as a snail which melted. Let every one of them pass away like the untimely birth of a woman that they may not see the sun. Right? So the heavenly father has a vengeance for them. Going down to verse 10, he said, The righteous shall rejoice when he sees the vengeance. So the righteous, if you're a righteous man, this is a righteous judgment when you see the vengeance upon the wicked, yo. See, the scripture tells us, say, yo, I'm going to lay vengeance upon the wicked by the hands of his people, Israel. And if you're a righteous man, this would be something for you to, to, um, to basically imagine and strive to attain, yo. Zin, so the righteous shall rejoice when he when he see the the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the of the wicked, so that a man shall say, "Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a God that judges the earth." You understand? And let me just get the judgment, because people believe say, "Yo, Esau Agabius Kali live." After the thousand years of judgment, well, <laughs> this is what the scripture says, you, right? So, may I start at verse 15. It says, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. So, all other nations then, as in the heathen, whatever they did, because we have went, we went into captivity under all of them. As in, so as they did to us, we shall do unto them. That is only fear, yeah? Alright. Saying, so it say, It shall be done unto thee, thy reward shall return upon thine own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as, as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. So all of what these Edens have is going to be ours. Zin, that's what's going to happen, man. Understand? We are going to obtain all of their possessions. They are going to be tributaries unto us. Right? It says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau the so-called white man, the Caucasian race, the rednecks, those damn crackers, right? The house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord had spoken it. Before what? For the Lord has spoken it, yo. Zin, this is will of the power of the of um of Yahweh Bashem Yoshai. Zin and it what shall be done. Zin with that, I want to say Kalalal, Yahweh Ba Shem Yoshai, Ba Shem Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to all the brothers that's pushing this work in our sincerity and in truth. Shalom.